Hello and welcome to the fourth part of the demonstration of segment routing. In this particular video, we will see how we can overwrite the default segment routing behavior of taking ECMP shortest paths. And we will do so by creating tunnels and assigning policies to those tunnels. So as before, uh, we have an active ping running through the network um, between hosts one and two. Um, and as before, uh, that, that ping is manifested in router 101 by hashing out of an ECMP group um, towards uh, router 106. It pushes the label 106 and takes um, uh, group ID 6 with, with three uh, um, buckets representing um, the three outgoing ports. But um, we will now um, create a tunnel by going into the configuration mode in, uh, in the controller CLI. And this tunnel will be loosely defined. It'll start at router 101, and then it'll say router 105, which is enough um, to indicate that we want to take the upper path, and then finally end at router uh, 106. So if we show the tunnel, we can see that the path we entered was 105, 101, 105, 106, but the label stack it has reduced to is uh, just two labels, 105 and 106. And the reason is, if you look at the details of this tunnel, we see that in router 101, um, it has created a group uh, with group ID 22 uh, that pushes these two labels, 105 and 106, and points it uh, out of the outgoing interface towards 102. So we don't really need uh, the label 101. The first label that router 102 sees is 105. It pops it off and then sends it towards uh, one, um, router 105, which only sees the label 106, which again, it pops it off and sends the naked IP packet to 106. So uh, back at the controller CLI, we can go and take a look at uh, router 101's uh, group table um, to look at what um, how group 22 pushes two labels. So if we look deeper into group number 22, we see that it has a single bucket, um, but instead of uh, sending it out of a port, it sends it to another group, group 21. Um, and so we look at all the groups and we see that in group 22, it pushes only a single label, the inner label 106, and then group 21 is not an ECMP group, it's just an indirect group that pushes the outer label with the bottom of stack indicator false. Um, and so this is how we, and, and, and that group then finally sends it out of port uh, number three. So this is how we construct um, this uh, label stack uh, by using a chain of groups um, uh, in OpenFlow. In OpenFlow right now, we can't push multiple labels inside a group. Uh, so we have to actually use a group chain uh, to do that. But in the hardware, actually, uh, both labels are pushed simultaneously in, the, in, in a single group's bucket. Now you can see that there aren't any um, um, packets uh, that are matching that um, uh, group because we haven't directed any flows into it. So we do that by creating a policy of policy type tunnel flow where we create a flow entry uh, for that communication that is represented in that active ping from 102010 to 10200.20 slash 24s. We assign a certain priority 1000 uh, to that policy, and then we tell it to take tunnel T1, which we, which we had created before. So if you look at the policy, it says that it's a policy type tunnel flow with the priority 1000, and then um, it shows us how we can classify um, the flows that match that policy. Um, and then in show tunnel, we can see that uh, the policy P1 is now being applied to tunnel T1. So back, uh, if we go back to switch uh, 101 and again look at, the, look at its group entries, in fact, if we, if we watch these group entries, we'll find that the packets represented by that active ping are now matching, are now going out of, um, this uh, group chain instead of the original group ID group six, uh, which represented the ECMP group. So it's good up going out of this group chain, it's growing out with uh, the label stack 105, 106. And the policy that is directing 
the flow out of this um, group is in fact in the ACL table instead of the IP table. The IP table represented the default uh, routing behavior uh, and the ACL table overrides the default routing behavior. Um, so if you, if you watch the ACL table entry in uh, that router, we can now see that uh, the packets are matching this policy and uh, the packet counters are incrementing for uh, that policy. In, uh, in the next video, we will see how we can create different kinds of tunnels that do for fine-grained traffic engineering.